Hi, this is Nigel Merrick from the Xenolog Photography Business and Marketing website and I've put together a short series on how to become a professional photographer and this is just a sort of a, a quick video introduction to what that's about. It's a work in progress, uh, an extension to my previous series on how to start a photography business and it's intended to serve as a guide for the talented amateur who wants to know more about how to turn a hobby into a potential photography business. So if you're one of the many photographers with a desire to earn a living from your camera by becoming a pro photographer then I hope you can get a better understanding of just what you might be getting into here. Now. I've long since given up keeping count of the number of times that people have asked me how to become a professional photographer. It seems as though everyone wants to get in on the action these days to earn money from their camera and it's understandable, it's a fun business to be in. And no one can really blame them for being attracted to the idea on the surface working as a pro photographer seems like a fun job and we're doing the thing that we love to do which of course is to create beautiful photographs but in fact somebody actually said to me once how hard can it be it's not as though you have a real job is it and at the time I was quite shocked and I really had no idea how to answer the question sure my job was fun or at least the parts of it that she could see were fun and I wasn't forced to sit in a cubicle in an uninspiring office all day working for what you might call the man and of course I get to meet all kinds of interesting people and spend my time taking photographs of them and the portrait session was going well and everyone was laughing relaxed having fun and enjoying themselves so I really couldn't blame her for thinking that being a pro photographer was a little bit more glamorous and exciting than a regular humdrum job in the real world uh, so to speak. Sadly the majority of amateurs sort of get enchanted with the idea of becoming professionals and they don't fully appreciate the harsh realities of running a photography business. The challenges lie in all kinds of things that our photography clients don't get to see from the outside that actually make our businesses successful. Uh, for example no one outside the business sees the hours that you spend learning, studying, practicing or agonizing over the quality of your own photography. They don't give a thought to the fact that more than 80% of our time is actually devoted to marketing, running the photography studio or trying to make portrait sales to clients. No one except perhaps another pro photographer who's really been through all this can fully understand the heartache and the stress and the worry that's expended every day by countless thousands of individuals struggling to make a living doing something that they love but which they know could destroy the fabric of their very lives if they fail to make it work. I've seen perfectly talented photographers lose their businesses, their homes and even their marriages all for the sake of trying to save their failing photo business and make it work the way they think it should and it's kind of like watching someone drown while everyone else around them is happily swimming around and enjoying themselves. What it all comes down to is simply having a healthy awareness of how to properly run a small business. There's a lot more to it than being a good photographer. Success in the photo business is not about the type of camera you use, how many lenses or flashes you have, how pretty your website looks, or even what your friends and family think about your photography. What it is about is accepting the responsibility of running a business and understanding that you're now a marketer first and a photographer second. This in no way compromises your integrity as a photographic artist or your ability to create the amazing portraits that your clients are paying for. In fact, the only way you'll be able to continue to be a photographer tomorrow is to become a better business person today. And one thing I'd like to stress here is that the moment you decide to charge money for your photography, you're no longer a photographer. You're now a marketer and seller of photography. Now, this doesn't mean that you, you don't have to concentrate on improving your technical skills. Uh, you know, being a good photographer is, is a critical part of the business and perfecting your craft is definitely something that you should be working on as well. But the business aspects and the marketing and the SEO and all the online marketing stuff is very, very important indeed. So what's your motivation as a professional photographer? Uh, to know if the life of being a pro photography business owner is the right one for you, it's useful to ask yourself some difficult but necessary questions. It's also important to be totally honest with yourself. For example, 
What does being a pro photographer actually mean to you? Is it simply a means to earn extra money on a weekend to supplement your income from another full-time job? Or is it a driving and undeniable passion to create images for people or something else entirely? Why are you attracted to the idea of becoming a professional photographer in the first place? These are very important to understand because they will ultimately determine how successful your business will be. Now, if you want to be a pro photographer, it's actually as easy as making the decision to do so. There are no qualifications needed, no college degrees to get, no accreditation with any pro professional organization is necessary. You can literally pick up a camera, decide to be a pro, and head off to your first paid photography session. And it sounds easy, and a lot of people fall into the trap of thinking that this is just so simple and so easy, and really how hard can it be? But the sad truth is that it really, you know, it really is that easy, of course, and, and that's where the root of all the troubles lies. Uh, the photography industry is going through a whole uh, slew of problems right now, and people get caught up in the romantic idea of being paid to take photographs, but they fail to see the danger that they're actually walking into. So this short series of articles is designed to help you avoid some of these dangers and decide if being a professional photographer is really the right thing to, for you. And we've, we've got... Uh, articles on making the leap from being an amateur to becoming a professional. Uh, selling your camera is no way to make money. We, we meet Bob the photographer who lost his business and the only way he could actually make any money out of it in the end was to sell his camera. We look at the photography business DNA. What is it that makes you unique? Why should somebody hire you? Uh, and then a photography business plan in 11 very simple steps. Uh, this is a, a very tricky step for a lot of people to come up with a decent business plan. We look at photography SEO and how that impacts your online marketing. Your website, uh, does the, how does the design of your website affect uh, your ability to make sales and, and uh, generate uh, email list signups and bookings and so on. We look at photography pricing and telephone sales and making that first impression in the business during consultations and how your attitude, your actual approach to the business and your philosophy has a great impact on your potential for success. And then we talk about a little bit about photography sales methods, in-person sales versus uh, letting your clients just see their photographs online. And finally, we look at how to build client relationships. Now if you want to continue your training after all of this you can join the Xenolog Prime Focus membership and you can learn from other photographers about how to become a better professional photographer by marketing your business the right way and improving your search engine rankings with better SEO. So head over to the website if you're not already there if you're watching this on Vimeo or YouTube or somewhere uh, just click the link in the description below or just if you're already on the website just explore these articles take the time to absorb them and, uh, and by all means leave a comment or a question as you go I do pay attention to all of the comments that I get and if you ask a question I'll be happy to uh, try and answer that for you so thanks very much and I'll be seeing you on the inside